Hi, Caleb with Brown Owls here. Today I wanted to take a quick moment to go over some of the main differences between your traditional red dot and your holographic sights. Uh, so this is a term that kind of often gets mixed up when describing sights, especially with new shooters or uh, newer gun owners in general. So the biggest difference that you're gonna see when you're shopping around between the standard red dots and your holographic sights is gonna be price. So because the standard red dot sight just projects a basically an LED image onto a lens that's in front of you, uh, that's a lot easier to manufacture, so they're gonna generally be cheaper in most cases than your holographic sight. Your holographic sight projects a laser onto a mirror, which then reflects it up onto a lens, and there's a lot more manufacturing that goes into that, and I'm describing it super easy, but it's actually a lot more complicated than it sounds. Um, so, with that being said, you know, price point out of the way, your holographics are generally gonna be more expensive, One's not necessarily more durable than the other. You know, take a look at Aimpoint versus EOTech, for example. These are both really known for, well, optics known for their durability. And both of them, you know, have all these battlefield stories of how they survived uh, crazy things and stuff like that. So durability's not even an issue with these as long as you're sticking with some of your better name brands. So with that out of the way, let's talk about another determining factor, and that's gonna be battery life. So battery life, because the LED in the uh, standard traditional red dots is a lot more simple, it doesn't drain as much battery. So you're gonna get a lot more battery life out of those, even, you know, some of, we're talking years in your modern red dot optic, years out of one battery. Whereas, you know, your holographic sights, you're probably gonna be looking at, um, you know, months, which is still a long time, and that's always on. So if you never turn off your optic, you know, you got almost a year of runtime out of a holographic sight. Some of them even over that, it all depends on which one you get. So the red dots last longer, but they both last a really long time. Now, another really important factor to this is gonna be the size. So if you notice here, I have three traditional red dot sights in front of me, and then I have this holographic sight. This holographic sight right here, they don't come much smaller than this one. And you notice this one's, it's, it's a fairly, weighty sight you know it's kind of heavy so there's that and then the red dot sights actually can be condensed a lot smaller because they don't have all that um, technology as far as refracting the dot goes so you know this is this isn't even as small as your red dot sights get this is what would, i guess would be considered more of a medium size and then you have your smaller pistol sights that are literally half the size of this one so you can get condense a red dot down much further the last point i'm going to make is gonna be the, uh, or the last thing we're gonna cover, is gonna be the actual reticle. And again, because of the technology that's involved in how they actually project the dot, the holographic sight, you can actually get down to a smaller MOA. So you can get down to a one MOA dot with your holographic sights. Your traditional red dot sights, uh, the lowest you're gonna find is probably gonna be a two MOA. And you know, that plays a big deal when you come into running magnifiers as well. If you magnify or put a magnifier behind a one MOA dot, it's gonna stay one MOA when it's magnified. If you put a magnifier behind a two MOA dot, it's now a four MOA dot with two times magnification. So that's something to consider as well. So this is kind of just going over the quick basics to give you a better idea of the differences between the two sites. If you would like to add anything to this, or if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.